good morning so i noticed that i haven't posted a video on how to do the dots so i'm going to go ahead and make the video today i have these little shot glasses that i got from dollar tree um i want to say it's maybe like 50 or 16 a pack you know fill them up evenly pour b into a with my little popsicle stick, making sure I get everything. Make sure you guys can see. Move it to the side and just mix it really well. See, it's like still cloudy, so you wanna make sure that it's clear before you add your colorant, I will be using alcohol in it because I'm just doing white dots today. Okay, just mix. There will be bubbles. You see there are lots and lots of bubbles in here, but once you get to putting it inside the dots, they'll go away. And once you add the alcohol ink, using this white alcohol ink. Sorry, I don't know how to make sure. It's by Rager. Just a few drops will do. Till you have your desired thickness, I guess you can say. Well, this is clogged. Just give me one moment. Okay. You don't want to add too much alcohol, especially to this small amount of epoxy because then the texture will change and it won't cure so just a little bit didn't really if it's still like this it's good if it's super runny not so good that means you need um to mix a little bit more epoxy and then add this colored epoxy to it so there you go. Okay, I am back. So I used the pipette for the dots. Yes, it has stuff on it, but to me, this works easier than a new pipette where you squeeze it and the epoxy goes in and then you drop it out this method for me you get the perfect drop every time and then i get a safety pin no bigger than this size here Sorry. to do my lines and I do the lines last once the epoxy starts to cure a little bit in the cup. It's just easier than when it's looser. Um, I also do my dots before I do my sanding for my dominoes. So we'll start off with this one. And I'll come closer. Oh, you guys can't see that. Um, Let's see. Let me turn. It's like this. Okay. Okay, perfect. It's closer. So I like mix my epoxy and I let the drops go. You see, those beaded drops are, like, perfect. 
and then you just let it drop into your holes and it fills it up perfect every time so I'm gonna tilt it a little bit every time perfect drops and then you just go from there fill all of them in sometimes I'll be moving too fast see I have like a little bit on this one here just wipe real quick this so you guys can see oh there goes my camera the perfect dots every time so let's see And I am not great at editing at all. So I probably should have started the video when I was almost done. But what I'll do is after I do a few dots, I'll do a few lines and then I'll stop the video. Uh oh, see, dropped a little bit. So I'm on the side. I just wipe it. You can get epoxy off your fingers easily. Very easily. And I just like wipe it back. And then it's some on the table. So I just wipe it off the table with a piece of paper. It's such a thin layer that is just going to dry up quickly and it won't mess with any of my dominoes that I have on this table and literally this is it this is how I do my dots the first few it's gonna take longer it's just always like my first like six or seven dominoes it takes me longer because i have to get back in the groove of doing things let me bring it a little bit closer hopefully that'll help with this right there so i always do like a little mix i don't know if it helps the situation it's just what i do just a little bit slow and then if I feel like um, a hole doesn't have enough like I have a smaller drip what I do is I'll just take this and I'll just stick it in it's like it just adds a little bit more each time oh my finger was blocking hold on let me do that again so I have my drip goes right into the hole if I feel like there's not enough I just dip it in the hole and then it adds literally like little by little more um epoxy that is it that is all and then i just let them dry i'm gonna do two more and then i'll um do my lines or i'll do this one this is the last one so double six back this way sorry guys once you get the hang of it like how now I'm on my like second drop I'm able to just go so I let one drop drop I'm able to get it in one drop drop able to get it in Sometimes it takes me a few dominoes before I'm able to get the perfect timing from the first drip to the second drip. Now, taking my handy dandy safety pin, open it up and open it just like this, stretch it out and like I said, I usually wait until it's a little bit more tacky. 
because I can get like bigger bulbs and everything. But we're going to do it this way just so I can get the video done. So there is a bulb on there. I literally just stick it in there. And then as you can see, I have a piece in there. And then I just go. Sorry, I'm trying to show you guys. And I just place the bulbs in there. So. So bulb there. And then I just move it from left to right. That is it. So. Let me see if I can show you guys up close like this. Okay. So, oh, I can't see like that. Like this. Let me find another setup so you guys can see it. Um, hmm. Just give me one second, guys. Put it on this side. So I'll go back to this double six. dip my safety pin I have my bulb and I just put the bulb right there and then go left to right that one was like a pretty big bulb because there's my safety pin fell in the epoxy but that is it that's how I do them let me just show you guys on another one hope you guys can see that well I have my bulb on my safety pin. I just stick it right in there. Move it like left to right to fill in. And then I go to my next one. Fill it in. Go left to right. This one will need more because it was a smaller bulb. Just a little bit more. You'll be surprised if that little bit goes like a long way. I'd rather do smaller blobs than to do bigger blobs. So I hope that helped. Once all of these dry, oh, I missed a spot on this one. Once they dry, that's when I go in and sand my sides to see where the bubbles and stuff were. Get them all nice and smooth. This is the design of this one. So, yeah. And that is it. That is how I get my dots in and my lines to be executed. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, put in the comments anything else that you guys would like to see anything that I may have left out, any questions that you have, please let me know. And thank you. Have a great day.